welcome back to my channel it's Lexi and today's video is going to be Sephora sale recommendations as well as my cart what I'm purchasing from Sephora also if nobody ever told you before you need to be using Rakuten not an ad not sponsored by any means if they want to sponsor me I'm all for it. <laughs> but Rakuten is what I use to get cash back and it kind of like connects to your browser. It's like a little add-on. I don't know what the real term for it is, but it pops up whenever a shop has cash back and Sephora literally always has cash back. So I really only go to Sephora to try stuff on, to get samples, to smell things, whatever the case may be. And then I purchase online and use Rakuten to get like 2%, 5%, 6%, whatever they have off. It's usually a low percent, but every percent counts, okay? So I wanna put that out there. That's why you're never gonna see me in Sephora in store actually purchasing because Rakuten is, it's a thing. And it goes for any online shop for the most part. If it's like a big name, type of store. So I'll have a link to Rakuten down below as well as all of what I'm talking about today and the last video that I did last time there was a Sephora sale. That video had a lot of natural hair products, it had makeup, skincare, all of the above. So those recs still stand but today's video is going to be new things that I want to try and lots of just re-ups because I am a creature of habit. So if I like it, I like it. I'm going to keep purchasing it. Um, you guys know, if you don't know, I am a member of the 2021 Ulta Beauty Collective. So I get most, if not all of my stuff from Ulta because I work with them. If it's on my list today that I am going to be buying it, I can't buy it at Ulta. And if I'm spending my coins, it must be good. Okay. <laughs> That's just that. Just want to give a little disclaimer. Welcome to the video. My name is Lexi. If I didn't already mention that, let's just dive right on in. I have my Sephora cart open on the app and let's get it. So I'm going to go in no particular order because I'm lazy. I'm going to read off of my cart and tell you if it's a new purchase, a repurchase, or a recommendation. So the first thing I have here is the Sephora Collection Best Skin Ever Liquid Foundation. This would be a new purchase for me. During this sale, they're having 30% off on all Sephora Collection products, and then they have 10, 15, and 20% off depending on your level of VIB, right? So like, I'm sure if you watch this video, you know how they do it. Um, so little backstory there. I've never tried this foundation before, but there's a few people that I follow that love this foundation and it's also 30% off, already a reasonable price point. So I'm gonna test it out. Then I have the Sol de Janeiro Brazilian Foreplay Moisturizing Shower Cream Gel. I use their Boom Boom Cream. I actually love <laughs> their Boom Boom Cream and I actually love their conditioner even more than the Boom Boom Cream. I could do without the Boom Boom Cream but the conditioner that they came out with is fire. And I think that I actually put that in my last Sephora sale video, um, fire. So I love the scent more than anything. So that's why I have it in my cart. I'm gonna try it out. I'm gonna buy it cause I'm curious to see. I love the smell that they have in their products. It smells so freaking good. Um, and then I have the Lys or LYS Beauty Triple Fix Serum Foundation. I'm really into not only black owned brands because I love to support black owned brands and I try to do that whenever I can, but I love a lightweight foundation and this seems to be a lightweight foundation. It also has really good reviews and everybody that I've seen loves it. So I put it in my cart, it's $22 and it also has that extra percent off with the sale. I also have this Laneige lip treatment balm in here with the stick. Um, I will not be buying this again because I love <laughs> their um, sleeping mask a lot more than this balm. I understand the mask is thicker, it's juicier, it is just more moisturizing. This one is a lot lighter, um, but the best thing about this is it has that stick. And the stick they have to apply, it just keeps everything super clean and just germ-free, which <laughs> I love. <laughs> But I'm not going to buy it again because I actually prefer the thicker product that they have. I have the Sol de Janeiro Boom Dia Bright Body Cream with Vitamin C. Now this product I actually have a sample of and 
I have it in this list. I have it on this list because the scent. I don't even care about body brightening. I don't care about any of that. It just smells so freaking good. <laughs> and it smells better than the OG Boom Boom Cream. And it comes like a little reddish pinkish container. I actually love that scent. It is expensive and I feel like, you know, who wants to spend $40, $45 on a moisturizer? But that scent just for before bed, let me tell you something. I'd be in this look. <laughs> okay. Next, I have the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Soft Matte Foundation Powder, which of all the things I've tried from Fenty Beauty, the thing that I reach for the most is this powder at this stage, right? Like I've loved their foundations in the past, the liquid ones, the um the matte one and the hydrating one are very good. I've worn them out basically, but the powder, it's a really nice mattifying powder. It's not heavy and I apply it lately over like sunscreen or over um, tinted moisturizers and just looks really, really good on the skin. I'm actually wearing it today over a tinted sunscreen. The thing that sticks out to me about it the most is that it has a decent amount of coverage. So if you have dark spots and you put on a light coverage serum or a tinted sunscreen or whatever case may be, and then you put this on, it really does cover up those dark spots. And I do have quite a bit of hyperpigmentation because of some reactions I had to skincare several months ago that I'm still working on. So I like that I get the coverage of a full coverage foundation without having to apply a full coverage foundation. The next thing on my list is the Ilia Super Serum Skin Tint SPF 40. So I tried this out um, maybe two months ago, a month ago, who knows? I'm in love with it. I'm in love with it. I have oily skin. I thought that it would be too greasy for me. It is perfect. I wear it every single day. Today I have it on <laughs> and I put on some concealer, some bronzer, and then the Fenty Beauty powder over top of it. It's giving full coverage. It's giving full beat without having to have a full beat. How can we not stand? This is costly and it was hurting me to buy this, but I bought this when they had the 30% off foundations. Um, like a month or two ago, whenever that was, and I have to buy this again. So I actually went to an Ilia event here in Miami in October. So I bought the 16.5 shade, which is actually our perfect skin complexion. Then I just took home the 17 color just because I want to see if it'd be any different, if I can mix them or whatever. I'm always outside working out and I feel like my skin does change shades. So I want to try a darker one just because, you know, I'm the kind of person I prefer to put a darker shade on and then brighten it up with concealer anyways. So today I have on the color 17, but 17 and 16 are chef's kiss. <laughs> and this product is great because when you have hyperpigmentation, they recommend that you use a sunscreen that does have tint to it to further aid protection. Because apparently, you know, for whatever reason, I'm not a doctor. Also, <laughs> this has like other skincare ingredients in there like niacinamide, which is really good for various things as well. Don't ask me, but I like it. It works for me. It helps to brighten up the skin because of niacinamide. And then I apply it over my favorite skincare product right now. And that would be the Azelaic Acid from Polish Choice. That is also in my cart because I use it twice a day and it's cleared up the irritation that I had. It's also helped with dark spots and then future breakouts. It's just fire. Um, so that's definitely in my cart. So every day I just apply, I wash my face, I put on the azelaic acid and then I put on this serum. I might put some CeraVe moisturizer in between if I'm feeling a little dry or feeling like I need to put extra moisture. But this serum is also very moisturizing. It just works, it just works. So I feel like it's worth what they're asking for. Also, it's very clean, it's clean beauty. And the cleaner, the better for me because I feel like my skin has a lesser chance to react negatively, if that makes sense. Back on topic, I have the Josie Moran Whipped Argan Oil Body Butter. So now if somebody asks me between Josie Moran's Body Butter and the Boom Boom Cream, I would 100% pick Josie Moran's Body Butter. Also, it's cheaper. I think it is cheaper. So I was not wrong about that. And it's so good, it's so good. And they're both eight ounces. So it's just really like, 
get Josie, you know? So <laughs> since Josie Moran is available at Ulta, I'm not buying that this go round, but um, it's just in my cart to share with you guys. Moving on, I have the First Aid Beauty KP Bump Eraser Body Scrub with 10% AHA. This one I'm gonna buy, I'm actually curious to try it. Um, I love a body scrub, I love I love a body routine. I want to share with you guys because I be in the bathroom just loving on myself. So <laughs> that sounds crazy. I want to share with you guys um, my favorite products right now, my routine. So if you want to see that, let me know in the comments. Give the video a thumbs up if you're still here. Appreciate you. So as for me, a new product, try it out, see how it is. It has good reviews. Then I have my favorite cleansing oil. At this point, I've tried lots and lots of cleansing oils, pre-cleanses. I love using cleansing oils, and that is the Dermalogica Pre-Cleanse. I just feel like it's so good. It's very light. It's great for daily use. If I have on a full face of makeup, I don't use this. I'll use a thicker, more creamier, a balm to remove my makeup, but for every day, just sunscreen remover or the Ilia Super Serum Skin Tint Remover, I'll use this cleansing oil, and it's like, if you like to use cleansing oils and you haven't tried this one, I would highly recommend it. So let's get into some natural hair. So last video I did on this, I mentioned a few natural hair brands that are available at Sephora. One of them being um, Comet Biologics, which is a black owned brand. The other one being Ajua Beauty, black owned brand. And then I mentioned Briogeo, black owned brand. And is that it? That might be it. But as of right now, as we speak, <laughs> Melon Hair Care is available at Sephora. So I had to tell y'all my favorites from Melon Hair Care and what I would say, if you're shopping, support my sis. <laughs> I don't even know her, but in my head, she's my sis. Whitney is just super sweet and her products work. They work, they're top of the line. They, they fit right in with all the other well-loved natural hair brands. I'm really happy for her that she's expanded. She was in Ulta, now she's in Sephora and she has, it just, it's beautiful to see it. So. There are three things from her line that I feel like if you haven't tried them, you should try them. The Twisting Butter, Off Rip, the Black Soap Shampoo, excellent, and um, the oil. I use that oil on my body all the time. It is chef's kiss, <laughs> literally. So those three things are also in the cart for you guys. Another favorite that I'm repurchasing that I actually have to get because it got me, is the Biosans Squalane and Amino Aloe, Amino Aloe Gentle Cleanser. It's bomb. It's very gentle, very simple, not much to write home about, but my skin loves it. And if my skin loves it, that means I have to rebuy it. And it's $26, it's, it's a little high for a cleanser, but I just like it so much. So since it's on sale, I'm gonna get it. I bought a few things with Biosans before, the only thing that set out to me that I keep using to this day is this cleanser. It's bomb. And Biosans is also a clean brand. I'm really, really, really into the clean beauty. I have been for a while, but I think as I'm getting older and more interested in like just skin-like and just glowy, beautiful skin, healthy skin, all that stuff like that, I'm gravitating towards, you know, um, clean beauty for everything, makeup and skincare etc. Bare Minerals Original Liquid Mineral Concealer. Bare Minerals, I haven't really grabbed for them at all in my makeup beauty lifestyle. Like I haven't grabbed for them. I haven't reached out thinking about them. But I tried this just out of whim. It was on sale at Ulta. I picked it up and I said, well, damn, <laughs> it's really all I've been using on my face. I put on my Ilia um, Super Serum Skin Tint. I put on my um, Bare Minerals concealer, a little bit of KVD um, contour, powder that thing up and I'm ready to go. Like I feel, it's like really making me feel good about myself. <laughs> and it's very thick and creamy. And I thought it would be the opposite. So I'm really in love with it and I would definitely, definitely recommend it. Um, and then I have the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask because I love it and I will always purchase it and every time Sephora has a sale, I'll be getting the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. They have a new scent for the holidays, Ginger Snap. In my car because I'm copping this, I can't buy it anywhere else. So we're winding down here. <laughs> I have the Polish Choice Omega um, and Complex Cleansing Balm. 
this is a repurchase. So I got this actually in PR. I used it to the very last drop. It is phenomenal. And when I have on makeup, this is the perfect thing to remove that makeup. It is so good. And I could only get this on their site or at Sephora. So I put it in the cart because I will be getting this along with that azelaic acid that I mentioned before, which is chef's kiss once again. So then I have the List Beauty or LYS Beauty. It stands for Love Yourself. Love that. I watched a live with the CEO on Super Great and she was talking about this blush. So I said, why not? I got the foundation in my cart already and I actually, I don't really wear, I never wear blush. I don't grab for blush. I don't really care for blush, but I'm curious. This is a coral color. I don't have any coral blushes in my collection. It's $16 plus the sale. And it's pretty. It's a satin matte cream blush in the color Inspire. And it's very corally, just very orangey. I'm curious. And it is clean because I'm gravitating towards clean beauty. Um, then I have a fragrance. Very, very unlike me, okay? <laughs> if you don't know, I am not a fragrance girl. I like to smell good. I like body butters for that. I have never been into fragrance like that. Also, perfume can be expensive, <laughs> let's be honest, okay? The main reason why I wasn't really into fragrance is because I get headaches very easily from different scents. Candles, perfumes, soaps, like any scent that I just, it triggers me, I begin headaches. So I gravitate towards the warm, the soft, the pumpkin, the cinnamon, the vanilla. That's what I like my house to smell like. I burn all kind of like coffee um caramel candles whatever point being whenever i would go to sephora or ulta and i would spray perfume like one or two times and just wear it out the day and see how i felt about it i would eight out of ten get a headache <laughs> or i wouldn't like it one or the other so i tried this perfume when i was in ulta and put it on my wrist you know and i left and i was just having a great day I was like, wow, this smells phenomenal. I called my mom, I went to her house. I was like going around town because it was my day off. I had her smell my wrist. I was like, mom, this smells so damn good. So I put in my mind, I had to buy it. Um, and that is this YSL perfume. Now, I don't know, I'm not into luxury like that. As you guys know, I'm not really crazy about name brands like that. I really could care less, but it smells so good. <laughs> and I had a gift card at Ulta, so I used my gift card at Ulta. But if you are into fragrance, you probably already know about this perfume because I think it's pretty damn popular. Um, but it is the Black Opium Oh, that thing smells so good y'all and I felt like I was late I told my friend Karina I was like girl I'm into perfume now and this one got me going crazy she was like oh I love that one I was like where the hell have I been no headaches it's very light but it's just very sweet like I'd be feeling good when I put this on so I put that on the list for you guys because I was like for the first time in a long time shout out to Frozen I um, feel like I have a perfume that I'm living for, um, that I literally wear it whenever I leave my house, like whenever I'm gonna go somewhere, even if it's just the post office, I'm just, and it's so light and just, I don't know. I think I understand more how fragrance makes you feel yourself. I be feeling myself when I put that on, okay? So enough with the advertisement for YSL, cause they ain't paying me a dollar, okay? And they don't need my money. Um, but I did see, I think all of the searching and typing, the phone caught up and I did see an Instagram ad. They had the YSL is offering buy one, get one free of the perfumes. Now I'm not sure of what, why or how or what the stipulations are. I thought passing, scrolling quickly on Instagram. But if you are into fragrance and you like this fragrance or their other fragrances, let me know what they're called. <laughs> That could be helpful for you. I sent the ad to my friend too. I was like, look girl, it's on sale. You know what I'm saying? Now me personally, I don't need it because I already have a full bottle. I don't leave the house that often <laughs> because I work from home. I don't, I'm not gonna buy two more bottles of fragrance and I have my Ulta, you know what I'm saying? Like I have the connect over there, but it's fire. Um, now if you are into clean beauty, this is random and unrelated and it also isn't at 
Sephora, but I've been loving this Pacifica um, is a clean beauty brand and they have fragrance and I've tried two of them. I like the sage one a lot. It's giving musk. It's giving manly, but like in a good way, you know? <laughs> So I want to share that with you guys if you care about clean beauty or if you're interested in um, clean fragrances. And last but not least, I have on here Faded by Topicals, another black owned brand. The thing about my skin, I can use Faded like once every two weeks, once every 10 days, like that thing is strong, okay? And Faded is a hyperpigmentation treatment if you don't know. And the thing about Faded, it's very, like, I feel like it has a lot of moisturizing property. My skin does not feel dry when I use it, but it is, like, my skin the next day after, I just feel like I did too much every time I use it. So, but I know that I have sensitive skin, and I also just have a routine that already works on my hyperpigmentation. I will, like, cut out the as like acid the day before, and the day after and you might fade it and I'll still feel like it's too much. <laughs> so I don't want to, you have to get it. But also I noticed that when I do use it, it does lift up. It does slough off that top layer um, with, with the hyperpigmentation. So it works. And most people don't have reactions to it. But for me, it is so strong. For the price and what you get, I do feel like Fade is a great purchase. Lots of the YouTube derms that I follow really like Fade and really recommend it, and I see why. So, that's it. That is my Sephora cart and my Sephora recommendations for the VIB sale. Um, I will have like it broken down what I'm gonna for sure purchase with my own coins, and then also what I recommend that you guys test out. I truly need nothing, which is great. <laughs> but one thing about me, baby, when they got a sale, I'm gonna cop. That's 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 my toxic trait. <laughs> Let me know in the comments if you do shop the Sephora sale, if you're interested in what they have to offer. I'm just curious. And if you are a fragrance person, put me on because I will be spritzing and testing, spritzing and testing, because now that I know there are perfumes out here that don't give me headaches, I'm interested. <laughs> I'm interested in smelling good, you know, cause I look good. So why not smell good too? I feel like I'm too old to not understand this concept, but I'm catching up to it, okay? <laughs> if you're still here and I'm just rambling, give the video a thumbs up on your way out. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't joined the Candy Kings family, the time is now. <laughs> See you guys in the next one. I almost forgot. I know somebody is going to ask me, Lexi, what do you have on your lips? I have on the Dose of Colors Nima Tang collaboration. Her lip lip liner and her lip gloss. Um, and that's that. That's that. Okay, bye. <laughs>